And now, Gary Finch Outdoors, brought to you by Dixie RV Superstores. Hi, folks. Fishermen release fish they've caught for a variety of reasons. Unfortunately, each time we catch and release a fish, there's a chance that the fish will not survive. Fortunately, there are a number of things that we can do to increase survival of released fish. As they are pulled to the surface, many reef fish species that are caught beyond 50 feet in depth may undergo an expansion of gases in their internal swim bladder. Every trip should start and make sure that the proper tackle and equipment is aboard. Current fishing regulations require that all anglers who bottom fish with live or cut bait must use non-stainless steel circle hooks. Conventional J-hooks are not allowed. A slow, steady crank on the reel usually allows the fish to hook itself in the corner of the mouth where it can be easily removed once the fish is landed. Regulations also require that all shore bottom anglers possess and use de-hooking devices when landing reef fish. These devices minimize the time reef fish are out of the water and simplify hook removal. Proper use of a de-hooker also eliminates unnecessary handling of a released fish. It is also a good idea that any boat fishing for reef fish species have a venting tool. A venting tool can consist of any hollow tubing device with a sharp tip that allows swim bladder gases to escape from the fish's body. These are available at most bait and tackle stores. Solid metal tools like gaffs, picks, knives, or other puncture devices are not acceptable and actually cause further injury to the fish. Each boat should have both a plan and a space set aside for properly venting and releasing fish and keep the fish in the water whenever possible. I'm Gary Finch for WKRG News 5. Catch more Gary Finch Outdoors Sunday mornings at 5 right here on WKRG and at 930 over on the Gulf Coast CW.